do an update on my Stellar. It's a 2015 Eclipse Stellar toy hauler. It's the 18 uh, CF, CFB, I think. CBG, that's it. Corner Bath Galley, I believe. I'm not sure if that's what that is, but uh, we like this. It's been okay. I've updated the wheels and tires. A couple years ago, I bought these Carlisle tires. Not too bad. Upgraded the rims from the steel uh, rims that we had. And it didn't come with front stabilizer jacks, and I haven't really needed them since this is so short. I did add this uh, toolbox to the front. There's a rack here for the generator. Put this in about a year after I got it. Just keep all my rough stuff in here. Jack, and propane, little propane tanks, and odds and ends. One of the things I updated is uh, it doesn't have any storage out here. So I put this uh, sewer hose on there. And yes, the bailing wire is just for backup in case the screws fail. And the dump is right here. Those wheels and tires sure made our camper look a lot better. Uh, what else have I done? I don't use the fuel. Never used it. We used to have a razor. We don't have it anymore. So we just use, use this as a basically a trailer. I did add this flagpole. And then I just made the brackets that attach into the aluminum framing. Quick release, and I can fold it up and put it inside. I'll go inside and show you inside. Well, this is the interior. I redid the counters this year. That's a epoxy. That was pretty easy to do. Stone coat epoxies. Stone Coat Countertops is the name of the company and I bought everything from them. It turned out really well. I really like it. It's a, it's a food grade epoxy. Worked good. And it's got a small bathroom. Nice little shower. And I had to add this medicine cabinet because there's no sink in here, so I added this. Pretty basic camper, but you know, we haven't had a lot of, yeah, very little trouble with it at all. Just a couple little issues that weren't anything major. It's got two bunks come down. We sleep on that bottom one. And then this couch can fold into a couch as well, or a bed as well. Added this TV. The generator I usually just keep in the back of my truck when we're out in the forest. Right now we're at Catalina State Park. There's two tables that go with this. I uh, obviously we did the tabletops with the same epoxy, and then there's a long one that goes here, and uh, it's at home. We don't. It's just my wife and I, so we don't need it. But it's uh, it's been a good little toy hauler. I like all this storage back here. I got a telescoping ladder and table, campfire, lawn chairs, all our junk, just throw back here, strap it down. I put these rubber mats down to protect it, but our razor would fit in here. It was just a side-by-side, two-seater. It would fit in here easy. Wasn't any issue. I added a few, uh, added a battery meter, and, uh, I put my dual batteries down here. And those are uh, AGM batteries, so they don't vent. They vent very little. It's got an inverter right here. We can run the TV off of that when we're in the forest. I put this uh, Wi-Fi dongle on the TV so I can stream movies from Netflix and Prime Video on there. That light's playing havoc here. Let's see if that helps. Uh, that's about it it's been pretty good microwave convection oven refrigerator runs on uh, propane and uh, 110 we 
use these little battery lamps when we're out camping in the forest. These work really good. I got these at Walmart several years ago, and there's another one up here in front that's motion, so get up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom, this will come on. Three burner stove, dual sink. I added this Bluetooth stereo. That's been a lifesaver, I love that. You sit outside with the speakers. All right, that's about it. Take it easy.